Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Early morning out here in the tack room. It probably looks like I just got up because I just got up and I wanted to do today's video. And we're gonna be talking about five of my favorite lures for September that nobody fishes. I mean, you're gonna be seeing a lot of uh, September videos on YouTube, people talking about the best lures for September. And most everybody knows what they are. They rehash the same ones, but I got five lures here, guys, that um, very few people fish, and I catch a lot of fish on them in September. So we're gonna go over that in today's video. And real quick, guys, I just wanted to uh, remind you, you might notice on our videos anymore, at the bottom of the screen, when it comes on, there's a little thing that says view products. Uh, I just like to encourage everybody to check those out. Every video I put out, we list 30 products on there. Uh, you guys might be interested in checking out. And if you purchase one of the products off of that link there, it's a good way to support the channel. So much appreciated with that. Okay guys, September, tough fishing, man. It's a hard time to catch fish. Um, they're one of the reasons it's so hard to catch fish, we've talked about this before, is that the fish are so dispersed across most lakes and rivers. Or just, there's, they're not grouped up in any one area. They use a lot of different water depths. They're finicky. Um, it's a transition month, you know, and it's just hard to catch fish. But I'm going to go over five lures that has produced pretty well for me, you know, over the years. Give you guys some tips and advice on how to fish them. I think it might add up to some more fish for you guys. Okay, guys, the first one is a white Z crawl worm. This is a Zoom Z crawl worm in the white. Now, this thing right here, you may look at it and say, well, God, that's an ugly looking worm as far as the fish like a worm. Guys, I don't fish this Texas rig, or I have Texas rig, but I don't fish it like a worm with a traditional slip sinker where you're working it on the bottom. I use this in, in place of a swim jig. And what I do is a lot of times is I'll put like a little, maybe a 16th of an ounce bullet weight on there and Texas rig it. And I just swim it shallow, guys, just like you would a regular swim jig, throw it up on the bank, reel it a couple inches under the surface. This tail starts flapping and wagging back and forth. And I'll shake the rod tip and this thing's going through the water like this, like a white worm, and guys, they will bite it. And one of the things that I do with it is this, I don't really use the full size. Most of the time, I'll just break it off around the egg sack here, make it a little bit shorter like that. Uh, fish it on 17 to 20 pound test line. Again, just covering water, shallow water. And if you've got any type of a top, a top water bite or a swim jig bite, try this Z crawl worm it will get you some bites. And guys, I'll put the Baitworks link in the description and uh, you guys can surf through the Baitworks site and get all the baits that I'm talking about here. Okay, guys, the second one is a Mega Bass Vision 110 Junior. This is not the this is not the full size Mega Bass 110. This is the Junior model, a little bit smaller. And we've talked about before in September that bass like a little bit smaller lures. And guys, I catch a lot of bass in September and most people don't fish a jerk bait in September on this little junior model and uh, primarily fishing it around hard structure. And what I mean by hard structure is any time that I can find like a rip, a rocky riprap bank, a bridge pier, um, a boat dock, a seawall, any hard structure where I think the fish may suspend around, this little 110 junior gets me a lot of bites. And also guys, when I get around that, I fish it pretty fast. Like I'll throw it out there and I'll jerk, 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 jerk. I'm not like twitch, twitch, pause. I'm just, I'm fishing it pretty hard, trying to keep it shallow and get a reaction strike. Most of the time on a jerk bait, I'm trying to get it down to its max depth, but on the 110 Junior in September, I'm keeping it pretty high in the water column. I only want this bait to get down a couple feet. But guys, if you got like marina docks or sea wall or, or a, break walls or something like that where those fish will suspend around, get a 110 Junior and they will bite the thing. Okay, the next one guys is the old school Rapala Minnow. This thing you can see, I've caught tons of fish on this one. This thing, this bait's been catching fish forever. It's, it's the first bait that I learned to bass fish with, a smaller version. But guys, nobody fishes the old school Rapala anymore. And in September, if you get out there early and late in the day, like not necessarily like right now in early September, but I'm talking about more like in towards the end of September when those water temperatures start to creep down a little bit, you get out there earlier morning, early in the morning or late in the day, like the first hour or so, hour, hour and a half after sun comes up, or maybe maybe an hour before the sun goes down, 
and fish this thing shallow right up on the bank on the surface. You don't want to, you don't throw it out there and twitch it down like a jerk bait. Just throw it out there and just pop it down. Let it go about, let it go about at two inches under the surface. Let it float back up. Let it sit there until all the ripples dissipate. Jerk it back down. Let it come back up. And when it gets to the surface like this, just twitch it like that barely to where the surface just, you know, makes a little bit of disturbance. And guys, if those fish are up there in shallow water, like on shallow flat points or in the back of coves or something like that, they'll come up and clobber this thing. And one of the things that you have to have on this goes for this to work, guys, is you have got to have a south wind. If you have a cold front comes through, they won't touch it. And they also won't touch it if you got wind. You gotta have completely calm conditions because this thing is super subtle and, and, and when it comes to the surface and makes a little bit of a disturbance, if you've got any uh, wind on the water, the fish can't see it, they won't hit it. So early in the morning on those calm days, a little over pal. This right here, it, I prefer like a number, this is the number 13, but I prefer like a number 11 probably on that. Okay, the next one, guys, is a lipless crankbait. Um, uh, lipless crankbait is not really associated with September much, but one of the things that I found out, and this is that Mega Bass Vibration X, one of the things I found out about in September is water levels usually start to fall in September. And a lot of times they're at some of their lowest levels of the year by September if you haven't had much rain. And if you can find some areas, guys, if, if the lake you're fishing has got dropping water, it doesn't have to be dropping fast, but dropping water, get out on whatever flat banks or flat points you can find. It's got to be flat. In other words, if you're, if you, if you're on a point and, or a bank or something, and you look down and your boat is in, say, four foot of water, maybe five foot of water, but you're still, you know, 50 foot from the bank, that's perfect. You want to be fishing this thing where most of the time you're reeling it and the water's only you know two to three feet deep specifically if you got rock or shallow grass they will bite a lipless crank crankbait really good especially on those days where you have a lot of wind if you get out there and you got some some flat banks that have a lot of rock on it or some grass and you got a windy day there's something about the uh, lipless crankbait you can get a good reaction strike on it when they won't hit anything else and finally, guys, we've talked about this one before. This is one of my, becoming one of my favorites is this Mega Bass Dark Sleeper in the 2.4 inch, this little bitty junior model right here. Guys, in September, specifically in early September, I catch a lot of fish on this thing on gravel banks and gravel points. Doesn't have to be like, you know, specifically gravel, but rock that's smaller than your fist, mud banks, just anything that's got small rocks or flats on it. And, and it's gotta be a point also. So if you've got points like Lake Hartwell that have those clay points on it or gravel points like we have here in the Ozarks, any type of flat point, get out there with that little dark sleeper, put it on, on four to six pound test, uh, four carbon line. I use the Seaguar and Vizex six pound most of the time. Throw it out there off those flat points in five to 15 foot of water and just sort of snap it off the bottom, let it go back down, snap it off the bottom and guys, if you've got water visibility um, of over like three and a half or four foot, specifically like four to 10 foot water visibility, and you have a mixed species, like you have a lake like, uh, sorry about there guys, my alarm went off on my phone there and I had to, I didn't know if it messed the video up, so I had to restart it. But anyway, back to the, the uh, two and a half, uh, the 2.4 inch dark sleeper. If you've got a lake that has a mixed species, so specifically a lake like, uh, here in the Ozarks, or if you guys fish like Lake Cherokee or Lake Cumberland, um, a mixed species lake of spotted bass, smallmouth, and largemouth with clear water, this little bitty dark sleeper will catch a bunch of fish under those conditions. So anyway, guys, there's your five lures that work in September that don't get much pressure, don't get much, they don't get fished hardly at all. The white Z-Craw worm, old school Rapala, Mega Bass Vision 110 Junior model, the little junior, lipless crankbait, and Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. They'll get you some bites in September and some of the toughest months out there. So anyway, hope you guys are doing good. We'll talk later.